Hello and welcome to chapter one, section four, powers and exponents. A power is an expression written with an exponent and a base. That looks like this. Here we have three squared, three is the base number, and the two here is our exponent. Now what this means is we're going to multiply three by itself two times and we're going to get that kind of an answer. So our completely simplified answer would be nine. Now your book takes this to an extreme level to get you really familiar with these terms. One of the things it asks you to do as a sample question is to write 27 as a power of base three. So again, we want base three and we're going to continue to multiply three to itself until we get to 27. Three times three is nine, and nine times three is 27. So this equals this. So we know that with our base three, we're going to have a power of three to equal 27. If you look at the example, number three on page 27, it asks you to write each number as a power of the given base. It says eight base two, and it walks you through two times two times two equals eight. So you're going to have two with a power of three because we used two three times. Negative 125 base negative five and they give you the base so you don't have to guess it and this is negative five times negative five times negative five and isn't it great that all the examples have an exponent of three completely lucky with that every time but I'm glad you get the point which means that negative five to the third power is going to be our answer here one thing to remember when you're solving for exponents is that you need to multiply each base. Sometimes, particularly when these problems are easy, mistakes are also easy because you end up doing them really quickly. Looking at this gives you an instant answer in your head because you know your multiplication tables really well. It makes more sense to write it out. Take a minute to write it out so that you can actually see what you're doing and your brain can compute it better. You are much less likely to make a mistake if you take a little bit of extra time. I'd rather it take me an extra minute and a half to do an entire set of problems than to have a bunch wrong. There's also a common problem with integers, as you just saw with the negative 125. If you just say negative five squared, this exponent is only connected to this five. What this is really saying is negative five times five, which is negative 25. If you want to make sure that that negative gets carried through, you need to put parentheses about the whole thing. This says negative five squared, which is negative five times negative five, and that gives me an answer of positive 25. So take a moment and do the check it out, number two A, B, C, and number three A. We've already done three B, but you can do it again if you'd like. Do these, push pause, and come back for answers. So here are our check it out answers. Negative five times negative five times negative five is a negative 125. We just did that problem together. This problem, only the six is squared. That negative stays still. So our answer is negative 36. This is actually three fourths times three fourths times three fourths. And you need to do three times three times three is 24. And four times four times four is 64. And if you don't, sometimes if you don't write it out, it's easy to make mistakes here. 3a, 64 base eight, that's eight squared. And this negative three, 
times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. So that's negative 3 cubed, and you have to have the parentheses or it's incorrect. Next, we're going to do the word problem. On page 28, a certain bacterium splits into two bacteria every hour. One bacteria starts out on the slide. If each bacterium on the so slide splits once per hour, how many bacteria will be on the slide after six hours? So here they've drawn a diagram to help figure out what's going on. After one hour, it splits twice, and they've got it labeled one hour. After two hours, each of these split twice. After three hours, each of those split twice. And what they're trying to help you see is that after one hour, it's the two that it splits times to the first power. And the second time, it's the two that it splits to the second power. And the third time, it's to the third power because two times two is four times two is eight. What they're saying is, especially if you look down here at the bottom under look back, the numbers quickly become too large for you to keep drawing a picture. But if you start with a basic picture and you can see the pattern that the first one is one and the second one is two and the third one is three, then the question after the sixth hour, it's gonna be two to the sixth power bacteria and then all you have to do is do the math and see even here they write it out so they can keep track of it. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32 times 2 is 64. This is complicated but it's not hard to do and the question under check it out takes this even further. So pause the video here and do number 4 on check it out. So after eight hours, that would be two times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've already determined that two times, two to the sixth power is 64, times two is 128, times two is 256 bacteria. Please remember that word problems need word answers. And that's it for this section. So the homework for section four, which starts on page 29, and we're only doing one section tonight, numbers 19 through 29, numbers 39 to 47, and numbers 56 to 63. And this will give you a good balance of different ways to look at all of these problems so the concept becomes concrete in your head. Please bring me any questions you have. Mark any problems that you don't understand with a hazard sign. And let me know how it goes tomorrow. I'll see you then.